this will become a chair seat. It's basically plywood for plastic laminate on the top. My name is Scott McGlasson. I'm an artisan, designer, woodworker. My studio is in St. Paul. I make beds, credenzas, dining room tables, chairs, tabletop items, smaller pieces, vessels, vases, bowls, plates, a lot of turn plates. I've been really into just turning a real clean line, simple plate lately. I am more of a modernist than anything, although I do like sort of old world uh, styles and, and means of joinery. I like to balance disparate elements, um, you know, something rough with something clean and smooth. Today I'm making a production run of chairs for a commercial job. The chair is uh, kind of a mashup of old world qualities and then it's got some modern elements. I like to just let the wood, the materials speak for themselves. All right, this is urea resin glue. It's a uh, two-part glue. It's really rigid, really strong. These are laminated because uh, it forms a nice gentle curve for a seat, just basically for comfort. Looks better. I mean, a perfectly flat chair seat's not gonna look, well, like a chair. Most dining chairs have some sort of shape or profile to them. Um, six pieces in all, five glue joints. Uh, this is eighth inch Baltic birch, so it's thin. It has three plies in it. I worked in education. I have an English degree, and that was my first post-college job. I didn't last very long. It, I liked it, but um, it was hard. I, I'm, I wasn't cut out for it. I took some Votech classes. Um, it was part of my fringe benefit package and uh, really liked it from the very beginning. And I've just slowly gotten better. You know, now basically um, I'm making strictly furniture. This form I made just by cutting pieces of wood on the bandsaw, gluing it together. So right now I'm just sort of setting it up to be clamped. The stretchy twine just kind of keeps it in place. That's good. Shave the corners a little bit. Uh, so you just set it in here. It's a clamping mechanism. Basically it just evacuates all the air. Once the pump is turned on, and this thing is sealed up tight, all the air escapes from it and it clamps basically with pressure. Pump goes on, takes it about five minutes for all the air to evacuate. Put a heat blanket on it, it speeds up the set time on the glue. This was on someone's bed one day. It might return to someone's bed, I hope not. It's work for, for one thing, but it never has, it's never drudgery. And most days it's, wow, I actually get to work with these materials and people, people pay me for my, my designs and my work. It's, it's great. Uh, there's a lot of cool machines. There's, a, there's that element too. So this is my studio. I share it with a couple other people. It's pretty nice. It's pretty big, bigger than I could afford. Here's some of my work that I pulled out. This is a credenza. I call it rustic modern because it's got some clean line elements. Plates that I turn on my lathe, uh, walnut, birch. This is a, just a piece of, of wood with a live edge. Get it from a mill up by Duluth. Ash, baseball bat material. This is Mr. Drink, and uh, just did a little production run of these. Basically, it's a little cocktail caddy. So you can wheel it around. And a good friend of mine who's an awesome metal worker is making the handle and it's a, basically a bottle opener out of steel. So you can, this is my storage shelf. It's got various pieces and different stages of completeness. Um, these will become these. This is my milking stool, three-legged, stable on any surface. <laughs> I like to think that my work is very authentic 
I touch all parts of whatever piece it is. Um, I use a lot of old world joinery techniques. I also like to mix in some, some modern components. Uh, the chair, it's a post and rung chair. It's a traditional chair that uh, you know, the Shakers did, Windsors did. Uh, the, uh, you know, there's Danish chairs that have that, that same, same structure. But then it's got a laminated uh, seat and back. It's just got some modern elements and then it's got some old timey traditional elements to it too. Chair leg. Okay, so <clears throat> a few hours later and uh, pretty warm. All right, there it is, stiff as a board. This is the shape of my seat. This could be cut with a router, but I'm not very fond of routers. So that's that. All right. Next step is sanding it. One last step. And that becomes this, the finished product. Classic post and rung chair with some modern elements. <laughs>